the test proceed to module 1 lesson 2 which is the arithmetic sequence in this lesson we're going to talk about the definition of arithmetic sequence identify the sequence if it is arithmetic or not find the common difference and the next terms of the arithmetic sequence and observe the value of accuracy So what we have discussed in our past lessons, sequences usually have patterns that allow us to predict what the next term might be. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan lang natin obserbahan maigi kung nag increase or nag decrease ang pattern at kung nag add nag multiply or nag subtract at nag divide ng certain number para makuha ang susunod na term. Example dito sa sequence na to, 4, 8, and 12. So, since this is increasing, slowly, ibig sabihin, nag add lang tayo ng certain number para makuha yung susunod na term. So, ano kaya ang i add natin para makuha yung 8 from 4? Yes, that is equal to 4. Kailangan natin mag add ng 4 para makuha yung susunod na term. Dito din sa sa susunod na term, sa 8, para makuha yung 12, kailangan din natin mag-add ng another 4. So, yun ang nangyayari sa example number 1. nag add lang tayo ng 4 para makuha yung susunod na term. Next naman, sa 32, 27, 22, and 17. So, ano naman kaya ang napapansin natin dito sa sequence na to? Ito naman ay decreasing. Ibig sabihin, nagsusubtract or nagdi-divide tayo. So, ano naman ang sinusubtract natin? Or dinidivide dito sa sequence na to. Ayan. Since mabagal ang, pagba ang pagbaba niya, ibig sabihin, nagsusubtract lang tayo. Nagsusubtract tayo ng 5 para makuha yung susunod na term. So, 32 minus 5 is 27. Ganon din dito sa susunod na term. 27 minus 5 is equal to 22. Same with the next term. 22 minus 5, that is equal to 17. So, dito sa example na to, nagsusubtract tayo ng negative 5 para makuha yung susunod na term. Next naman, dito sa example na to, 1, 3, 9, 27, and 81. So, since ang example na to ay mabilis ang pagtaas niya, it's, I, it's a multiplication. So, nagmumultiply tayo ng certain term para makuha yung susunod na number. So, that is 1 times 3. So, magta-times tayo ngayon ng 3 para makuha yung susunod na term. So, 1 times 3 is 3. Susunod naman, 3 times 3 that is equal to 9. And then next, 9 times times 3. That is equal to 27. And 27 times 3 again, that is equal to 81. So, ganun lang ang paghanap ng pattern sa isang sequence. Okay, let's have another set of examples that we need to find the pattern that we usually use to predict the next term might be. So, let's have another example. Negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, and negative 12. So, since this is increasing, or decreasing rather, kasi negative number pala siya, ano ang dapat nating isubtract para makuha yung susunod na term? Yes, that is negative 3. So, nagsusubtract tayo ngayon ng negative 3 para makuha yung susunod na term. Negative 3 minus 3 is equal to negative 6. Sunod, negative 6 minus 3 is equal to negative 9. And negative 9 minus 3 again is negative 12. 
Okay, next. Let's have another example. We have 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, and so on. So, ito naman ay increasing. Mapapansin natin na nag add lang tayo ng 0 0.5. nag add tayo ng 0 0.5. Or ng 1 half para makuha natin yung susunod na term natin. So, that is um, 1, 1 plus 0 0.5, that is 1.5. And then, 1.5 plus 0 0.5, that is equal to 2. And then, 2 plus 0 0.5 is equal to 2.5. And 2.5 plus 0 0.5, that is equal to 3. Okay, next. Let's have another example. 55, 45, 35, 25, and 15. And so on. So, dito sa example na to, decreasing siya. Ano kaya ang mapapansin nating pattern dito sa example na to? Yes, nagsusubtract tayo constantly ng 10. Nagsusubtract tayo dito ng 10 para makuha yung 45. Subtract ulit tayo ng 10 from 45 para makuha yung 35. Subtract ulit another 10 from 35 para makuha yung 25. At subtract ulit ng another 10 para makuha yung 15. So, ngayon, obserbahan natin ang mga example na to. Ano ang napapansin mo sa tatlong set na example na to? Obserbahan maigi. Ayan. So, base sa pag oobserba natin, napansin nyo ba na nagsusubtract tayo or nag add tayo ng certain number para makuha yung susunod na term? Kagaya dito sa unang example, constantly nagkakaroon tayo ng negative 3 or nag add tayo ng negative 3 para makuha yung susunod na term. Dito naman sa second example, nag add tayo ng 0.5 para makuha yung susunod na term. At dito naman, sa third example, nagsusubtract tayo ng, ng 10 para makuha yung susunod na sequence. Ang tawag sa sequence na to, kapag meron silang common difference, ay ang tinatawag na arithmetic sequence. Yan ngayon ang focus ng lesson natin ngayon. Ano nga ba ang arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first term is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. So, sa past example natin kanina, yung ating uh, usually ina-add o sinusubtract na certain number or constant number ay ang tinatawag nating common difference. Kapag may common difference ang isang sequence, siya ay tinatawag na arithmetic sequence. Let's have some example. How well do you distinguish me? Paano ba natin malalaman kung ang isang sequence ay arithmetic or hindi? Let's have our first example. We have 3, 7, 11, 15, and 19. So, paano natin malalaman kung ito ay arithmetic or hindi? We need to find the common difference. Paano kung unin yun? Isusubtract natin ang first term from the second term or ang second term from the third term, and so on. So, let's try. 7 minus 3, that is 4. 11 minus 7, that is also 4. 15 minus 11, that is also 4. And 19 minus 15, that is also 4. So, since this sequence has a common difference of 4, or we can denote that D is equal to 4, this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So, para makuha yung susunod na next two terms, we're just going to add 4 to 19 to get 23 and 23 plus 4, that is 27. 
next. Let's have our second example. We have 1, 1 half, 0, and negative 1 half. Ito nga ba ay arithmetic sequence or not? Try ulit natin hanapin ang common difference. Let's say 1 half minus 1. What is the answer? That is equal to negative 1 half. Next, 0 minus 1 half. That is another negative 1 half. Then, negative 1 half minus 0. That is equal to negative 1 half. So, since this sequence has a common difference, which is negative 1 half or denoted as d equals negative 1 half, this sequence is also considered as an arithmetic sequence. So, to get the next two terms, we're just going to add negative 1 half from negative 1 half to get negative 1 and negative 1 plus negative 1 half is equal to negative 3 halves or 3 over 2. Next, let's proceed to our third example. We have 3x, x, x over 3, and x over 9. So, ito nga ba ay may common difference? I-check ulit natin. Subtract ulit tayo. Second term minus the first term. We have x minus 3x. What is x minus 3x? That is equal to negative 2x. Then next, x over 3 minus x. Ano nga ba ang susunod na sagot? That is equal to 2x over 3. So, dun pa lang, mapapansin na natin na it has no common difference. So, ibig sabihin, ang sequence na to ay hindi arithmetic sequence. Okay, let us continue studying arithmetic sequence. This time, what is omitted? Right? Or it means we need to find the next three terms of the sequence by observation. Let's have the first example. We have 3, 12, 21, blank, blank, and blank. So, ibig sabihin, we need to find the next three terms of this arithmetic sequence. So, una, hanapin natin ang common difference. We need to subtract first term from the second term. So, 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. 21 minus 12, that is equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin, ang common difference natin or ang value ng d natin ay 9. So, ngayon, dahil ang common difference natin ay 9, ibig sabihin, mag a tayo ng 9 para makuha natin yung susunod na term. So, 21 plus 9, that is equal to 30. Then, next, 30 plus 9, that is equal to 39. And then, 39 plus 9, that is equal to 48. So, the next three terms of this sequence are 30, 39, and 48. Next, let's have the second example. We have 5, 12, blank, 26, and blank. So, ngayon, since ito ay arithmetic sequence, hanapin natin ang common difference Pa, uh, para ma-solve natin ang sequence na to. So, since dito lang tayo nakakuha ng consecutive numbers, dito tayo kumuha ng common difference. 12 minus 5, that is equal to 7. So, ibig sabihin, 7 ang ating common difference. Ibig sabihin, nag add tayo ng 7 para makuha yung susunod na term. Ayan, nag add ng 7 para makuha yung susunod na term. So, ano ang susunod na term after ng 12? 12 plus 7, that is equal to 19. So, 19 ang number dito. Sunod, 26 plus 7, that is equal to 33. 33 naman ang number dito after ng 26. Next, let's have the third example. We have 13 blank, 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 negative 11, and negative 17. Dito naman, nasa dulo, tayo makakakuha ng consecutive terms. So, dito tayo kumuha ng common difference. Subtract ulit natin, 
yung negative 11 from negative 17. So, negative 17 minus negative 11, ang ating common difference ay negative 6. Okay, since nag add tayo ngayon ng negative 6 to get the preceding term, ang susunod sa 13 ay 13 plus negative 6 that is equal to 7. So, 7 dito sa unang blank and then 7 plus negative 6 that is equal to 1. 1 naman ang susunod dito. And then, the last missing number is 1 plus negative 6 that is equal to negative 5. So, to check, negative 5 plus negative 6 that is equal to negative 11 and negative 11 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 17. Thank you for joining today's class. See you again next week. Hanggang sa muli.